Welcome to the Kenny Hack. Hello and thanks for joining me on another video. On this one we're going to be kind of going over how to make these magnetic bottle openers. Uh, like there's a buried magnet inside the wood that acts as a catch for the bottle cap dropping out of the bottle opener. So I'm going to kind of be going over how I made it, what materials I used, problems I had, things I'll do different, and just kind of hopefully save you some problems down the road if you decide you want to make one of these. For the piece of wood, I'm using Select Pine, and it's a 1x4. I bought this in about a 6 foot length and cut it up into 8 equal sections, all just a little bit under 9 inches tall. That kind of gives you enough room to put in like about a three and a half by five inch image below the bottle opener. Kind of gives you just some room for different kind of designs. For the corner magnets, I'm using these just under half inch or 12 millimeter neodymium magnets. You don't want to use the ceramic magnets. They're just not strong enough to hold the bottle opener up to the fridge or hold it in place while you're opening the bottle and they're not strong enough to catch the bottle cap as it's passing by. You need to use these neodymium magnets. The little ones you can find in most all your local craft stores or hardware stores but for this bigger one this is a 30 millimeter or right around about an inch and a quarter. I had to order this off online. I got it off of eBay and these are definitely not magnets to let your kids play with. They're very strong, very easy to pinch your fingers between them if they snap together. Now the first thing I'm going to do is drill out the four corner positions for the magnets. In the future, I think I'll try a three-point magnet deal for the, attaching it to the fridge. Because when you do four corners... It's very easy to get one of the corners slightly off, and even most fridges, the face of the fridge isn't perfectly square and flat. It's very hard to get it to sit perfectly level every time and in all positions on the fridge. So a three-point contact would be a lot easier to get to sit flat than a four-corner piece. It's probably something I'll do different on any future designs. It won't hold to the fridge quite as strong, but it will sit flatter. Here I was trying to get the magnets to sit in my recess holes. With the magnets not being able to stick to anything, it was really tough to get them to line up. So had the idea, went and put the magnets on the fridge just so they'd stay in place better. Then it was a lot easier to get them to line up to the holes and they'd stay in place to where I could check to see if my holes we're sitting flush. You can see here it's kind of rocking in that top right corner need a little bit taken off of it. So I took a couple trips, went back and forth, just kind of trimming that top right corner down, like just drilling the hole a little bit deeper until I was able to get it to sit flush like it is here. And like I said, if I'd go to a three point design with like two magnets at the top and one at the bottom middle, this would be a lot easier to get it to sit flush. After I got it sitting flat, went back to the drill press, put in an inch and a half Forstner bit to recess down in the hole. And you want to set that to where the Forstner bit is just staying a couple millimeters off the surface to get that magnet as close to the front edge as you can so it'll be able to catch the caps as it's dropping down. Now I have to be honest, my little drill press here, I got this drill press for like $25 20 years ago out of a mobile truck selling tools and it's worked pretty good for me over the years but it really doesn't have the horsepower to turn this big Forstner bit and it probably really is time to upgrade my upgrade my drill press it doesn't really have a very good stop on how deep it drills uh, the little spindle arm is kind of just hard plastic and if you really press on the arms you can kind of deflect on how deep it goes so maybe if I sell enough of these bottle cap openers, I can use the profits off of that to upgrade my drill press to where it won't be stopping like this every time I try to put a little more too much pressure on it. I, it took a long time for me to drill this hole out with my cheap little 
$25. I think even Harbor Freight sells better drill presses than what this thing is. So after what took forever, finally got it down to where that face was only a few millimeters away from the front edge. And I'm doing this before I laser the image in case I happen to drill through the wood and punch that center hole through. I won't end up ruining any lasered image. I'm just saving that till after I know everything is going to work fine. So now I'm off to gluing in the magnets. I'm using a super glue gel. And any of you, if you worked with super glue, you know how messy the stuff is. That's why I got some paper on the back of the magnets just to make sure I don't get any super glue residue onto my fridge face. It'd be nice if I had a really nice flat piece of steel to do this on instead of my fridge, but it was just what I had available and handy and thought of using at the time. So I'm going to glue each one of these corner pieces in one at a time. And this has a lot of editing in it. It would take a couple minutes per magnet i'd glue it in kind of press it in with something non-magnetic to kind of keep it pressed on there and take a blow dryer to it and kind of speed up the drying process of that gel it takes a little a few minutes for it to dry and set up it was very easy and i edited it out there were several times i glued it in i thought it was stuck and as soon as i stuck it to the fridge the magnet would pop right out and i'd have to put in a lot more glue i mean you want to be pretty generous with that gel Make sure it's kind of squeezing out around the edges and really getting all the edges of them magnets stuck into the wood. These magnets are strong enough. If you don't have them glued in well, they're just going to pull right out of the wood and stick to the fridge. And as you can see here, got everything glued in. And even with all the efforts of trying to keep make sure it was sitting flat, once it's stuck to the fridge and you move it around, if I moved it out further to the outside edge you can see just the face of the fridge is warped enough to where it won't sit flat and that's why I think probably a, a three-point design will be better you'll be able to move it pretty much anywhere on the fridge face for the most part and it should be able to sit fairly flat but downside is it's one less magnet to hold it to the fridge so it might not stick quite as strong and here it is with the big 30 millimeter magnet glued into that recess. Once again, use a lot of glue. Make sure it's squishing out around the edges. And now for the moment of truth. Will it stick? Will the bottle cap stick? And there it goes. You know, I did a lot of testing. I dropped that cap several times from rough position of the bottle opener. As long as it fell fairly straight down, it would catch. But if it somehow bounces a half inch away from the wood, even that magnet's not strong enough that it's going to suck it back in. But for the most part, it would probably catch it like four out of five times. And I think once you actually have a couple more caps stuck on there where it's more than likely going to hit another cap and stick, it'd probably work a little better than just one cap on its own. I'm not really going to show any lasering work on this video. This is a pretty simple design. Sprayed it down with some Kenny Hack solution. Put it on there. Kind of came up with this design. You know I'm a Star Wars nerd if you've watched my channel. So kind of come up with this design. Thought it looked pretty good with the Vader using the force to grab the bottle cap going by. Have several other Star Wars designs that I'll probably make for myself because, you know, I'm a big nerd. Don't care. Just something fun to make. But pretty simple project i've seen these going to for sale on etsy from twenty dollars for simple stuff to thirty maybe forty dollars for more custom order pieces your bare cost into this is probably under ten dollars depending on how what you can get magnets for in your area and whether you're using the three point design four point design how big of catch magnet you want to use I don't think you'd want to go much smaller than like the 30 like I used. I'm just not sure. The smaller it goes, the more chance it's not going to catch the bottle cap. So put a little extra money into it. Make sure you get a magnet big enough to catch that bottle cap. That's kind of the whole point of this theme of bottle opener. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.